Here's a three phase AC motor that runs at 3450 at 60 hertz. It's going to be modified into a rotoverter. There's the label on the motor. And on the right hand side is the uh, high voltage hookup. So it'll hook up to a 460 volt feed is what you want to do. But actually you're going to be running this on 120. But you hook it up to the 460 volt high voltage circuit. What this says is that you're going to have three lines, one, two, and three, and you're going to hook uh, six to nine, five to eight, and uh, seven to uh, four, it looks like. Okay, now I'm going to take off the uh, cover, expose the wires so I can do the hookup. Right here, here they all are. Should be nine wires, there are nine wires. And it'll be, uh, each wire will be labeled with a number. Right here, see it printed here. Use a magnifying glass. You can read the numbers really easy. Okay, I've just hooked it up as you would if you were to hook it up to a 460 volt feed that shows on the label. So what we have here is a 5 connects to 8, 6 connects to 9, 4 connects to 7. That's these three right here. One, two, three, six wires, and 6 to 9. four to seven and five to eight and then you'll have three wires right here individual wires and this is one and two and three okay the, each of the uh, three pairs of wires put some black tape around it insulate it There's one two So, you got three pairs of wires hooked up to the 460 volt circuit. You have three bare wires here. Leave these bare because you're going to be hooking this up to the capacitors and the line feed, the power to it. And these are these are one and two and three. They're labeled these three wires. Okay. So that's about all you have to do for the electrical wiring, really. So, move on. Okay, the next step is you want to take this end plate off here. There's four bolts to remove, and this will pop right out. And we want to uh, cut the fins off the cooling fan because the uh, air resistance of the cooling fan uh, uses up quite a bit of power, and this, this motor will run uh, cool and it won't get hot. So there's no use for the cooling fan, and it just wastes power. Okay, so we're going to do that next. Okay, just uh, unscrew these four bolts in the back of it. Look at that, see? One, two, three. And they loosen through these up. Anyways, pull all these out. Okay, before you pull the uh, end cap off, put some marks here so you can put it right back on how it was. Mark right here. Okay. Once you get that, those bolts out, just There it is. The insides of it.
the rotor. Now, I want to take this cooling fan. You don't need that anymore. I'm going to take that off. Just two screws off here. off of there. Okay, now you want to break this cooling fan off. I'm just going to use a hammer. That was easy. And now you want to pull the uh, the bearing shields off. Clean them with some carburetor cleaner. Take a small screwdriver, put it on the inner side. out of there. I'll use a bigger bearing, take the cover off this one too. Not very hard. Okay, I used up the whole can of carburetor cleaner. I want to get them so they really spin nice. Okay, now you got clean bearings and you broke off the cooling pan. I also uh, filed it with a grinding wheel the edges of the cooling pan. You could take this whole thing off, I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, be sure to put this uh, thrust bearing at the end of this bearing when you put it back together. Okay, now just put some sort of lubricant in there. Maybe Duralube or Marvel or I'm going to put some Aerocoil in there. Okay, and just go with that. Don't have a big thick thing of grease in there. I'm going to put it back together. Okay, pop it back in. I'll put that thrust washer in there. Got those marks so you can put this on properly. And there's a uh, plate here that's going to need to be lined up and those screws put back in too. Okay, I'm screwing that plate in. So, 